Oh! Oh my god, yes! Oh! It's possible against Shaman I should actually mulligan Tar Trooper because they don't really care about... ...not being able to deal damage, they just want to get a bunch of stuff on the board. Uh, that's something that I have to keep in mind. Because my way of beating Shaman is actually getting like a Firefly or Mana Worm out early that can contest the early stuff. So I probably should have mulliganed Tar Trooper. That makes so much more sense now. I guess. Man, I love discovering Volcanic Potion against Aggro Edex though. Huh. Acolyte of Pain is a bit different. Might be a control paladin here. Reporting for duty. So I think I'll be pretty happy uh, doing Jaina coin hero power. I was gonna say like coin Jaina. That might be possible also. I'll have to think about coin Jaina versus Jaina coin hero power. Womp womp. Maybe intentional. Maybe. Or maybe he's like, I'm just gonna keep playing this stuff. No one noticed anything. Alright, I guess we have to do this. Because in order to play an elemental, I don't want to give that the ability to draw two. Oh, by the way, for the upcoming HTT Summer Championship, uh, I use this account to vote for Pobble, as I expect any new player would. I mean, it's a good choice, too. So, we'll get some free packs that way, too. Hopefully. Man, Flame Gauzer would have been good there, but... Uh, my hand is too full. Actually, a really annoying play by him. I, I think this card is actually just bad in this matchup. What to do? What to do? Oh, I should just play. Yeah, yeah. I should do a cheap elemental in this turn. Volcanic Coin Blaze Color, that's a pretty interesting idea. I didn't think about that one. I didn't expect to use the coin for anything other than Frostledge Jaina. But I guess that's worth using, right there. I dream as a world. Oh man, this is big paladin. Five, six, six, polymorph, polymorph, Tyrion. I fully expect to see Tyrion and two stone hills with more than Tarim. Let's see, what else is in that cast? Probably the Death Knight. Oh. I wonder if he's gonna try to Exodia me. That'd be awesome. 
Alright, Death Knight versus Death Knight, let's go. It's gonna be pretty tough to icy touch the four horsemen. I can always do it over two turns. I haven't seen any Consecrations yet. Uh, this does survive Consecration though? Oh my gosh, Order. Alright, fine. No, no, no! Intended Order! You see, what I did was I set the Mana Worm to 1 on purpose, so I could poke the 2-2 two -two and then use my Hero Power on it. Now do you see my genius? Yeah, I'll play this one. I'm actually going to do it again, just to double down on my theory. It's actually really good to have one attack minions right now. Wait a second, I already have flame on. Oh, but I need to save that. See, just to hammer home the fact that I did that intentionally, we're gonna do it again. Oh, I hope you enjoy your sheep. Just kidding. I hope you choke on it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I should save for board clears anyways. I think I do really want to have a one attack minion on the board though, because one attack minion allows me to take advantage of the two twos. Alright, draw two. Primordial Drake is fully expected out of that pack. Uh, it means we're very close to fatigue. Okay, that could be really good. I mean, that is clearly the best one here. I mean, it's not really good, but it's something. As opposed to nothing. This is all good, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna try to simulacrum Servant of Calamus. <laughs> Alright, that's the last equality. We got rid of Uther, but we haven't gotten rid of Stonehill Defenders yet. I think I actually have to save this card. Something better will come along. We're just gonna fireball that next turn, and then hero power. There's also the Lich King. Alright, so that taunt isn't anything too serious if you can play it on 7 mana. We're just gonna assume he can only summon 1 a turn, and then eventually I'll have to flame strike when he has 3. Now oh, I also have Volcanic. Kind of nifty, I suppose. Yeah, I figured Spike Ridge Steed would be in there as well, so I could always polymorph that. 
Uh, that's probably worth polling. Yeah. It's like a 14 health minion. like the ultimate clash. I actually had the Uther Death Knight, but I could not think of a, a legitimate deck to put it in. Due to it costing too much for my free-to-play run. It's like free-to-play versus all the legendaries. The ultimate deck. I think it's right at this moment, though. Okay, I actually thought I had um, so done. I was planning to hero power that afterwards. No peace, no rest. Slight uh slight miscalculation. Okay, so six damage to all, and then one damage to that. Perfect. No uh, elemental played is the slight downside. Alright, so the remaining deck is just, just two Servant of Kalamoses. So I have to play the Flame Elemental, Water Elemental, and Flame Elemental, and then play Simulacrum on the Servant. And then we use the value gained by Servant of Kalamos to try to take it out. Otherwise, it's going to fatigue. Uh, but we plan for fatigue too. That's probably the best I'll get out of the other flame strike. I will have no more board clear. But that's fine, he has no more board clear also. So we'll just try to control the board for elementals. That's probably the last big threat in the deck. Maybe another Drake, probably another Primordial Drake. But that and this taunt. The frozen throne. I think the best possible card I can simulacrum is Servant of Calamus because, I mean, it's, well, it's hard to say if I want to simulacrum like a super value card or if I want to, it, it's hard to get a more valuable long-term card than Servant of Calamus. Anyways, I don't have to consider that for a while. I can play the first one now. Uh, that one. Also creates an elemental. It's a thing. Eventually. Let's see, so this card is just going to be bad. It can help with the two twos. Alright, so I know the other Stonehill target, since he actually played that one right after he drew it, is seven or smaller taunt, so it's probably not that big a deal, since he masked over it and he could play it. <laughs> so I want to keep my guys above two health. Uh, we'll trade out the weak ones then. There's almost certainly no other board clear, but just in case, I'll keep the hand. So I believe we have him on lockdown right now, already. So I'm taking it really slow, since, well, yeah. The turn after I get board cleared, not that he has one left, 
and play these three cards out in Simulacrum. Oh, that's gonna be six to all. Oh, that is a board clear. Yeah, that'll do it. Actually pretty serious. I think we want to go for ultimate valley over the end result there. Alright, and eventually he'll run out of threats. Okay, that's probably fine. <laughs> that's probably okay. Death was merely a setback. Alright, there's no cards left. We got this. Jadrid, remember a few things. One, I need to get rid of my one twos before spreading plague. Two, I need to save all my burn. Alright, we'll try to play that right before his turn six. So I want to play it when he has five mana in his hand. Um. So the next turn. To counter either Behemoth or Aya. Next turn, we're coining up Blaze Collar. Sure, I'll point out Blaze Collar regardless. Oh, 2 3 or face. Nah, he's got so much health. We have to hit the 2 3. I have a lot of burn in my hand, but we need the minions to do a little bit of damage. Malfurion and the Pestilent would have been pretty good right there. Alright, I think we can beat him down with the two blaze colors. Ooh. Alright, I'll do that. Ooh. Still got 22 in my hand. Or is the pestilent? The good news is against spreading plague, my guys are all really strong right now, so. I'll one shot the wall. With that many cards in hand, chance of spreading plague is pretty high. 
Ultimate Infestation is also pretty high, but I think it's too slow right now. Hmm. Oh. Well, with Kuhn. Oh my gosh, Kuhn. Developing a blaze color is really good right now. Nah, nah. We have to protect our guys. <laughs> One jade down. Doesn't really matter. So I can't kill the jade claw. Uh, idol. Jades aren't that big yet. Do I have the time to play Frost Lich Jaina? Well, if I don't play Frost Lich Jaina, I'm basically doing almost nothing. It seems right to play here. It's possible to win this one. Got a pretty good board going forward, and we have Jaina. The Jade count is only at three. It's gonna be close, I think. The clones are the opponents at a very high life total, has a few cards in hand. Uh, a few cards in deck, rather, and lots of cards in hand. But it just might work out. One more spreading plague in that deck, I'll need to remember that. Definitely want to create a water elemental each turn. I do need to summon an elemental. Do I need to do that? I don't need to summon an elemental. This uh, makes spreading plague so much worse. I think he's feeling a lot of pressure right now. Yeah, I have Firelands, so I don't need to summon an elemental this turn. Twelve. Alright, Firelands on that one and Hero Power it. I think that makes sense. Two flame strikes in this deck. Let's see, he's got one swipe left, so that indicates he's. No? Wait, I think I have. Oh, I almost have lethal. Uh... Okay, I do have two turn lethal with 3, 4, 9, 10. He's at 5, he's at 8. And then I play those. It's 10, 14, 20, 23, 25. Okay. I'll go for it. So I think I have exact lethal next turn. If he only armors up. Just hope it works out. Behold, the rage of the 
We're gonna get him just before he goes Super Saiyan? Whew. That was very narrow. Is that good enough against Druid? It's pretty iffy. Oh, Aggro Druid, thank goodness. It's fantastic. That isn't amazing. It's two mana three three basically. Dun 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 dun. Wait, is Kalanto playing Snow Flipper Penguin in his deck? What the? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's pretty good. So it's not an original uh, creation from- Oh! Pilfered Power, there it is. Right. The Pilfered Power deck. I'd heard, like, rumors of this going around. I just gained four mana. It's a lot of mana. Oh. So you can play Ultimate Infestation with it. This, this is a pretty cool idea. Alright. Hit, Fire Blast, Flame Geyser. Firefly. Well, no, Flame Elemental. So the good news is... They only have three cards left. This is really cool. I uh, have not seen this deck before. Only heard about rumors of it, so I don't really know what's in it. Oh! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> oh! No, he doesn't have it, or he didn't choose to cast it. Hmm. Alright, we can duke it out with trees, I guess. We could go Mana Worm, Tar Creeper, and then Living Mana. Uh, that would get me five? Yeah, it's probably worth I'm in a back now. Ah, oh, you are. Ah, oh. okay. On the bright side, there are no jade cards in that deck, which means that. Can actually outvalue that deck. I would like to wait a bit more for that, but. 
Uh oh. Oh man. Could I have possibly waited a turn? He did just refill his hand. Hmm. I don't think I could have. I think. Oh, not glowing. Stabilize? I haven't been pressed to be this low on cards in quite some time. Alright, so he's refilling his hand, but this is going to be his last burst. I could get an AoE out of this. I will definitely wait for him to play one more wave this time around. I need a good card here. That's decent. Yeah, it's... It's been a really long time since I've ran out of cards with this deck. It's actually kind of incredible. Nice, Vaporize. Whew. He's out of buffs, yeah? Mark a Lotus twice. Power of the Wild twice, Yasharaj, Mark twice. And he's one more Bone Mare in there too, huh? Hmm. Alright, we're throwing it all in there. Yeah, Alchemist would be pretty scary. Can you actually fit Alchemist in that deck? Oh, two of them? Oh my gosh. Oh, rip. That was a fun one, though. I wonder if I could have just waited one more turn on that flame strike. I mean, he could have always been threatening Savage Roar there, too. 